So like we said, the Warner chapter that's come to a close, a recent close. Talk to me about how you've just grown as a person, your four years being there, you came there, fresh out of high school, now you are grown then, you're even more grown now. Y'all see the beard, I'm trying to get my beard right. But yeah, talk to me about how you just grew as a person, how you developed as a man over the time at Warner, what, what helped make you you? Uh, I think just, if, if you don't know, Warner is a, you know, a religion, Christian school, so, uh, you know, obviously coming from Cambridge Christian, I had a lot of faith background in me, even before going to Cambridge, you know, my mama instilled into me. My daddy is a, is a pastor and a reverend now, so, like, I got a Christian background and I ain't ashamed of it, but I feel like Warner helped me become more comfortable in my faith. Like, I wasn't, like, I've never been afraid to admit that I was a Christian, but now it's even, it's even more broadcasted. Um, I feel like I spread the word on, on a daily basis. I spread God's love and I feel like that helped me grow as a man. Uh, also coming into Warner, I was only 18, very immature. You know, if you know me, you know I love the spotlight on me. I want everybody looking at me. I love all the attention. But I say like between my first year and my last year, I matured so much to where you, you made a joke, you know, Mr. Warner, they gave me that nickname my freshman year. I used to love it, you know, going into junior, senior year. I hated that nickname. I, I don't want to be Mr. Warner. I want to be DJ. I want to be the, the, the point guard that's a part of the men's basketball team. Like, I got a better outlook on life at Warner. Uh, I can honestly give a big credit to my former coach, Coach Hannon. He, we had a bunch of man-to-man -man talks from the first day to the last day. Even shed some tears on the last day, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Uh, he just poured into me. Um, I can't thank him enough for not only being a coach, but he was a father figure. He ain't had to love me the way he did. He just had, he only was responsible for being my coach for four years. And I could say that he was way more than a coach. Uh, I remember the exact thing I said to him as we were wrapping up, you know, our last little talks after we lost in uh, Sacramento, we played William Jessup, we was in the locker room. And I remember telling him that the only reason why I am the man I am today is because he took a chance on me four years ago and he ain't looked back and he just took a chance on the kid with the bad attitude that had 40 and CCC and put his jersey on his head because they lost and felt like his team didn't help him enough and I left that game the same way jersey over my head but I felt like I didn't give my team enough and I feel like Coach Han molded my mindset to believe that if we came up short, not necessarily it was my fault, but not to put the blame on my teammates and start to think about what I can do better or what I could have did. And if you know me from before I went to Warren, you know if something went wrong, it was never my fault. It was always somebody else's fault. So I just want to give a shout out Coach Han for like not only prepping me to be a man, but holding me accountable when I told him I really wanted to become a man. For sure.